So hello world, this is Dr. Zhu and I am here at the Karachi Expo Center and this is our expo today about living green. So this is Mr. Mujahid Sach Sahid and he is the Alternative Energy Development Board. So thank you for having us here yeah. and I never knew that there is such a thing in, um, in Pakistan that this board and promoting green living. So could you please tell us a little bit of uh, what is the board doing? Yeah, sure. Uh, the Alternative Energy Development Board uh, in Pakistan uh, was created in 2003 and it was mandated to uh, be a facilitator and a policy maker to promote the uh, private uh, sector to come and invest in uh, uh, renewable energy projects. Fantastic. And since then we have uh, been involved in extensive activities of uh, capacity building and creating an enab enabling environment uh, so that uh, the private investment financiers could feel comfortable in investing in uh, renewable energy projects in Pakistan. Um, so far, uh, we have uh, a, a renewable energy policy in Pakistan and provides extremely attractive uh, incentives to the private sector to come so in. So what is the sector. specific incentive what the government gives to the private sector? Or for example, if it was a foreign company to come in and do something here, what are the specific incentives? Yes, the, uh, some of the uh, incentives that there are is that uh, number one, uh, the uh, government uh, in certain cases takes the resource risk, meaning that uh, once you set up a, a power generation plant like wind uh, turbines in Pakistan and if it doesn't produce as much as it has been mutually agreed on yes. uh, based on the production numbers, the government will pay the shortfall. So now this is one uh, big uh, risk that oh, the government takes on itself. That's fantastic. Beyond this, there is a fixed rate of return on your equity, meaning that uh, at this time there is 17 to 18 percent assured return on your equity. So the, merely this rate, assured rate of uh, return uh, guarantees good business and right. uh, getting 17 to 18 percent uh, from uh, Western and other standards is pretty high. Yes. And besides this, we of course have, there is no uh, import duty, there is no income tax, there is no sales tax on oh, all the renewable technologies. Yeah. And um, besides this, uh, there are, uh, for example, the government also initially is uh, trying to provide land for setting up renewable energy projects. So, oh, fantastic. We have uh, several uh, investors who have been provided with government land to set up their wind farms of 50 megawatt each. There are several front runners who are close to financial growth and we expect that uh, by the end of this year we would have something like 300 megawatt wind farm projects uh, reaching financial closure which means that the project would have started Fantastic. construction. And uh, I will, uh, now maybe, can we yes. go around and... Yes. Uh, this is uh, Irfan Yusuf, he is looking after the uh, wind. Hi Irfan, how are you? Very fine. So you are the wind guy, huh? Yeah, definitely, actually. <laughs> Great. Uh, so tell us more about the wind and the project you guys up to. Yeah, it's been uh, more than two years I've been heading this wind energy section uh, and, uh, with, with the support of my team. Actually, what we have been able to to secure a lot of investment in the energy sector, but we expect that around 400, 400 megawatts wind power project is going to achieve financial growth during this year, Fantastic. and uh, this will be commissioned in by 2030. Yes. Uh, with this, uh, what we expect one billion dollars of investment is coming in, in near future in the energy sector. Where is this investment coming from? Uh, most of the uh, investors are from the local, uh, oh, local, local, yeah, oh, local fantastic. industry, and a few are coming from outside, so likewise, Zolder from Turkey. Uh, Turkey, yeah, yeah they are who coming. else uh, is coming in as foreign investors into this project? These are the foreign investors uh, who is uh, setting up wind power projects as an IPP, independent power producer. So only Turkey? Is from Turkey? Yes. And a few investors are coming from uh, from Germany and yes. uh, other countries like Australia and, and, and European countries. So uh, basically, you are open for uh, foreign investors to come in, and you give the exact same deal to being tax free and all the uh, nine years that you just mentioned before. Yeah, yeah definitely. So we are very much open to uh, to uh, all the foreign foreign direct investment uh, yes. from wherever it comes. Likewise, 
uh, we are very much opening the gates for the investment for the uh, companies coming from China. We are already executing a 50 megawatt run power project right. with a Chinese company and yes. we have received a lot of interest from the Chinese companies to invest in wind energy. Great. Great. And uh, they, are, uh, they are offering us equipment, they are offering us financing, they are offering us EP services, ONM services, likewise and, and financing Great. arrangement as well. Great. Great. So Great. we are looking forward a huge prospects of wind energy in the near future. That's fantastic. And may I just ask a, a little question about uh, that how is that involved garbage? You know, I'm up for cleaning up Karachi and making it as a green city and I would love to bring in investors who will actually do that. It's a large amount of money in there. So how would the government sponsors um, overseas investors to come in and do uh, business in garbage and uh, turn it into energy? We are uh, seriously looking at uh, in, uh, encouraging investment in this particular sector as well. Um, we have recently initiated feasibility studies in 20 cities of Pakistan, which right. are considered to be one of the largest uh, garbage, municipal, uh, solid municipal waste yes. uh, sort of uh, producing uh, cities. Yes. And uh, we are going to be setting up a pilot uh, project yes. based on energy in Karachi uh, oh, shortly. Fantastic. And uh, it sort of will demonstrate uh, the working and the management governance of uh, these projects. And we hope that we will, by this uh, example, encourage the private sector to come in and invest in this thing. All the other incentives, as mentioned earlier, also apply to uh, waste to energy uh, projects. That's great. And uh, besides this uh, waste to energy, of course, uh, we definitely uh, invite uh, for investments uh, in this particular project. And uh, we. Uh, is there something else? Yeah. Just let me add uh, one more thing. Uh, actually, there is a local company named the Lucky uh, Cement who has established a local Lucky mechanism. Cement. Yeah. Oh, I met some of those guys. Yeah, they yes. established a mechanism with city district government of Karachi. Yes. They are buying uh, around 1,000 ton of uh, uh, the domestic waste brought daily from the uh, district government and they will set up a biomass waste energy power project in, oh, in Karachi. Great. That's fantastic. That will be producing around 20 to 25 megawatts of electricity. That's great. And uh, may I just ask a little question that where is this new waste project in Karachi going to be take place and what is it specifically going to involve? Um, uh, technology of this Lucky uh, uh, Energy project? Uh, there are two, two the waste are project, you said you're setting up a pilot study? Yeah. Uh, that that has to be established because the feasibility is being done at this time. Yes. So we obviously the uh, the site of the project is going to be identified uh, okay, so from this feasibility. Right. And uh, this time we it is uh, not uh, known uh, where it will be. Right. But uh, the, the city government is going to provide land for this purpose, and uh, it will obviously have to be at a place where. Uh, there is some sort of aggregation of uh, solid waste management. There are, I think, uh, two or three possible sites that are looking at, but we would only know once the feasibility is uh, completed. Great, yeah. great, fantastic. And uh, another uh, thing that we're working on, of course, in renewables is uh, uh, on-grid solar projects. And they are both from uh, uh, solar PV parks as well as uh, solar thermal uh, projects. And Irfan will uh, briefly tell you about some of the progress that we have made in this uh, particular area. That's great, fantastic. Thank you, Irfan. Tell us. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, solar energy has very uh, vast applications in the country because the country sees a very high rate of radiations and uh, it ranges between 5 to 7 kilowatts per meter square per day. The huge prospects of solar energy to be developed. But we are looking at uh, we are uh, targeting the very electrification, the areas where a grid cannot reach, we are going to electrify these villages through solar energy. We have already electrified 50 villages and we are looking at to electrify 350 villages more uh, in uh, coming years. Besides this, we have a, a program to promote the solar water pumping. Uh, we want to replace at least 1000 megawatt load of uh, grid through uh, by installing solar water pumps. We are also promoting solar water heaters in the country. We are going to initiate initiate a study with the support, financial support of World Bank to to uh, determine the viability and feasibility. Then, what are the prospect options for 
replacing the current conventional solar water, so conventional geyser with the solar water geysers. That's fantastic. We are also working with the district governments and the municipalities to replace the uh, street lighting with the solar uh, lighting solutions. That's great. And also we are convincing them to use, utilize solar energy for billboard lighting. That's great. And also we are talking with the public sector uh, owners to. Uh, Replace the peripheral and outer lighting solutions to to the LEDs and solar lighting That's solutions. Great. These are these are the few initiatives which we have already taken, and uh, we are hopeful that this will be a, a, a boost to the solar energy development in the country. So uh, let me just ask just one little question came into my mind because there are some people here already having the solar light bulbs and uh, and the reduced uh, energy, like they use like 55 percent less energy, and, and just amazing how much energy can be saved on that. That uh, is the uh, the um, your board would be giving any incentives to uh, to companies like this to um, have you know tax free or tax reduction or, or anything like that to let them move onto the market into a faster rate for uh, saving more money. Yeah, actually the uh, CFLs as they call it, uh, the energy yeah. saver uh, bulbs. Yes. Are uh, basically. LED, LED as well, LED, yeah, yes. LED as well. Of course, um, uh, LED uh, of course is a little expensive. It's still sort of uh, something that needs to uh, be marketed more extensively, provided the costs and the benefits do match. But at Are this you time, guys supporting companies yes. like that no, in, we, in, in we what the hell? What we, way? Yeah, what we are doing, we are the promoters of renewable energy projects, and in our projects where there is a need for light uh, source, we yes. use uh, CFL energy savers and LEDs wherever it makes uh, sort of economic sense. However, uh, the promotion of uh, marketing this in the country is an energy conservation measure and yes. it's not a renewable technology kind of uh, uh, as far as incentives and uh, giving uh, more uh, sort of uh, facility to import and market these things. So we have a different import. department. You guys are not making this here and most of these companies, Some of them are yes. made here, some of them are imported. And at this time, we have a department under the Ministry of Environment, known as Enercon, which is an energy conservation yes. center. They have actually been mandated to uh, pro proliferate this uh, bulb, both LEDs and yes. in, in the country. But we do use them, of course, because this way we uh, sort of use less electricity in providing. Yes. Like you mentioned, we have something like 3,000 households in remote areas in Pakistan that we have already provided uh, electricity oh, fantastic. To, solar. to single solar home systems and uh, they of course use uh, these energy saver. Do you uh, have videos of those already yes, available for us to like uh, not promote right it now. more? And yeah, not right now but maybe we can uh, share that with you. Yeah, that would be uh, lovely. We have uh, some very good videos on